In our last video, we had talked about average velocity and average speed. In our this video, we will talk about instantaneous velocity and instantaneous speed. Now, velocity of particle at any instant of time or at any point of its path is called instantaneous velocity. Now, to explain this, consider this point P is brought more and more closer to this point P. And now, we calculate the average velocity over such a small displacement and time interval. Now, in instantaneous velocity can be defined as the limiting value of average velocity where second point come closer and closer to the first point. Here, second point is Q and first point is P. Now, limiting value the so limiting value of delta x upon delta t as this delta t approaches 0 is written as dx upon dt and this dx upon dt is derivative of x with respect to t this instantaneous velocity is equals to as point Q approaches point P in this limit slope of the chord PQ becomes equal to slope of, of tangent of the curve at point P. Here in the figure you can see that this slope this slope gives the instantaneous velocity of the particle at this point P. Thus we can say that instantaneous velocity at any point of a coordinate time graph is equal to the slope of tangent to the graph at that point now instantaneous speed or speed is the magnitude of the velocity unlike the case of average velocity and average speed where average speed over a finite interval of time may be greater than or equal to average velocity a unit of average velocity and speed or instantaneous velocity or instantaneous speed is meter per second Now, after instantaneous velocity and speed, we will talk about acceleration. Now, acceleration is rate of change of velocity with time. Now, for describing average acceleration, we first consider the motion of an object along x-axis. Now, suppose that time t1, the object is at point p, moving with the velocity v1. And at time t2, particle is at point q, moving with velocity v2. So, so average acceleration of an object moving from point p to q is a is equals to v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 and is equals to delta v upon delta t which is the change in velocity of object with the passage of time. Now, this is average acceleration. Now, after average acceleration, after average acceleration, define instantaneous acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration can be defined in the same way as we have defined instantaneous velocity. So, instantaneous acceleration is equal to limit delta t tending to 0 delta v upon delta t which is equal to dv upon dt where dv upon dt is derivative of velocity v with respect to time t. Now 
the instantaneous acceleration at any instant is equal to the slope of velocity time graph at that instant. Now in this figure instantaneous acceleration at point P is equal to the slope of tangent to the graph at this point P. Now since velocity of the moving object has both magnitude and direction likewise acceleration depending on velocity has both magnitude and direction so acceleration like velocity is a vector quantity acceleration can also be positive negative or zero and SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square so this is all for now and in our next video we will discuss motion with constant acceleration